Then that money goes towards the scholarships. That's it. And, and people can go to herofund.ca and that's where all the information is, the campaign, and, and donate online as well. So I, I'm curious to know, because you guys are fairly young, and it's about young people supporting it and remembrance. Do you find that there's just more awareness and more interest now in veterans and uh, in those who've served our country than, say, pre-9-11? I, I do actually. I think uh, I think uh, the, the the mission in Afghanistan has definitely changed Canada. Uh, our generation has has grown up uh, seeing that, uh, hearing the news uh, about Afghanistan, seeing um, those soldiers go through that, those families go through that. So I think it has changed, and um, we get a lot of uh, we get a lot of response from from schools. There are young children. They're they're singing the Highway of Heroes song in schools. It's it's uh, it's great to see. We think, and uh, but I would agree. I think it's it's changed. Um, uh, and I think the awareness is, is growing. Why do you think it's so important for young people to connect and to understand what's happened? I have a grandfather who's a veteran and he's 89 now and uh, I've always been active with him and uh, I was able to visit uh, Vimy and Juno Beach this uh, spring. It really brings home the sacrifice and, and the commitment that our Canadian forces make on a, a daily basis. What got you guys involved with this to begin with? Because uh, you know, not everyone, as you say, has connected, and you're young, uh, you're fresh faces who've decided to get involved and start this phenomenal charity. What drove you to want to be more of a part of this? Well, uh, we actually started it, I guess. Uh, it was something that we recognized that there's a lot of uh, charities like this in the U.S., maybe less so in Canada, and at the time, we found there was, uh, there was maybe a bit of a gap. There wasn't uh, enough being done by uh, regular Canadians to support the forces, uh, but the will was there. So, so Alan's actually a founder. Um, we were at the University of Toronto when it started, and we thought, what can we do? Um, this was uh, you know, one small thing we could do for forces families, and it's grown from there, from, from campuses across the country, to now a full-fledged charity. So. It, really, it really you know, pays to what we can do with an idea and start off at grassroots, and it just kind of snowballed, and now we can actually make a difference in the lives of Canadian Forces families. It's amazing. Fantastic. So tell us one more time where people can go if they want to find out more information or get more involved with your organization. It's herofund.ca, and uh, the campaign, again, is 11 for 11. It's $11 uh, on November 11th, uh, and that goes to scholarships for the children and, uh, and also for the spouses of, of fallen soldiers. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys, and uh, fantastic work. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Sarika, back to you. Okay, thanks, Mercedes. CTV News will be paying tribute to the men and women of Canada's military with coverage 